Hey there, and welcome to this ProFlow's Quick Tip. My name is Cameron, and today we are talking about audio. And you may say, why are we talking about audio when we're in a motion design membership? I'll tell you why. It's because we're always, or a lot of times, working with audio. And I get asked all the time, what's an easy way to cut down our audio to a desired length if the audio is not already cut down to that length? So what I have here is I have an audio track that is two minutes and 26 seconds long, and you can see it right here. And I'm in Adobe Audition, and you can do this in multiple versions of Adobe Audition. You do not have to have the newest version. What we're gonna do is go to File, New, and we wanna do Multi-Track Session. We're going to select where we want to save the file, select the sample rate that we want to use, what we wanna call it, click OK. And here is our Multi-Track Session. All we have to do now is just drag our audio onto one of these layers. And you can see here it is, I'll zoom out. We have a full length track here, all the way down here to two minutes and 26 seconds long. All you have to do now is just select the audio track. Make sure you click on properties right here and enable remix. Here it's gonna do its analyzing clip magic. It takes just a few seconds. And now all I have to do is here at target duration is I just have to input a value of how long I want my track to be. So let's say we're going for something like 30 seconds. I'll type in 30, hit enter, and there you go. We ha magically have a track that is almost 30 seconds. Now, a lot of times this is not gonna be exact. So if it needs to be exactly 30 seconds, you're gonna wanna type in a value probably less than 30 seconds here for a target duration. Now we can also go into our advanced settings here and we can say, hey, uh, we need to, the edit length to be shorter or longer. We can adjust the features, the minimum loop length, which is eight beats. Uh, we could select something like 16 beats, something like four beats. Uh, it just depends on what your audio track is and what you're trying to do. Uh, slack and so on and so forth. So a lot of times I will keep these values pretty much in the center here. And I don't mess with beats too often, but you can and it still works really well. And then when we zoom in, you can see here what's actually going on. We can see these little squiggly lines here. These are where the edits are made uh, based on the, the intelligence of Audition looking at this track and saying, okay, this is where the edits could work really well. And if I play it, you're gonna hear it sounds pretty seamless. Again, I could play around with features like the timber, the harmonics, things like that. That's going to adjust how this edits together. So it's always fun to kind of play around with this kind of these uh, parameters here and get something more interesting. And again, if I wanted to make this, uh, let's say even shorter, I could type in something like 15. There we go, play it back. And there you go. So it just depends on the track, uh, what you can get away with, with the intelligence. But for the most part, this is a really easy, super quick way to edit down your audio to the desired length that you need. 